Okay. Okay, I see. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's uh, get that under control before it gets out of control. You good? No. There. Good lord. Fighting with the uh, the streaming service audio. Pretty cool, though, right? I mean, uh, I, I still am finding things in Epidemic Sound that are like, okay, I, I can see that. And I need something here while I'm, you know, getting the, getting the back-end stuff going. Um, but I think that's a, it's a good combination. And uh, definitely definitely uh, falls into the thematic uh, burning wood. Uh, the great thematic burning wood moments of all time, I guess. I was disappointed the whip didn't crack. Oh, because I've got, you know, I get that, uh, that audio shut down. So I won't hear it. Uh, like I said, welcome everybody. My name is Adamos. And uh, this is uh, HC Dime Novel, issue 16. Uh, we're going with The Watchmen for this. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a... Uh, it's going to be interesting because uh, we're going to start off uh, in the snow uh, this time. And uh, not where you would think, oh yeah, there's snow there. So that'll be a kind of a fun little start here. Uh, and like I said, I don't know. I know that the server is kind of uh, pretty much packed right now. So uh, we should run into some folks. And uh, if not, I've got a couple of, uh, a couple of little adventures uh, that we can uh, also... Uh, sort of track off into if uh, if it becomes necessary. Uh, once again, I wanted to thank uh, both Dull Surprise and uh, GG Hick uh, for helping helping mod. And I get it now. Uh, the delete option message thing, yeah, was about the picture. See, in the in the reply thing, it yeah. That's how that stuff works nowadays, and, you know, yours truly is taking a little bit longer than normal to get used to that. So, like I said, uh, we've got uh, a new H.C. Dime novel coming tonight. Uh, we've got uh, a yet another letter uh, going out. And, uh, yeah, we've got a, a definitely a new location that uh, we are in for this. So it should be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, once again, thanks for uh, joining me for uh, these dime novel things that I'm doing. And also, uh, thank you to those of you watching on the VODs. Good Lord. There seems to be a lot of you. And uh, I do appreciate you guys swinging on by and uh, at least catching bits and pieces. There's lots of, uh, you know, there's lots of good mo moments in here. I tried to uh, trying to beef up the uh, the um, the music a little bit more, and uh, see <laughs> you can only reply once. That's weird. Well, I guess it's just okay. It is weird. Well, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, uh, like I said, uh, we're we're gonna try to uh, run some uh, some holiday stuff here. Uh, since we're getting close into the final throws here. And uh, from, I think, I think, I think there's like a, a holiday event going on. But uh, at this point, there's no possible way that uh, that we're going to be even within the bubble for that. And uh, not only that, but uh, it's on the other side of the map. So that's not going to happen. Um, but, like I said, there's other things. And uh, so far, this location that I've decided to uh, kind of start things out in, uh, I've seen at least three people uh, who have, uh, I, I think, I think they're going to pretty much group up pretty soon and come out and poke me with the stick. So uh, we should probably get the dime novel started. Once again, thanks everybody for joining me and uh, welcome to the show. All right. Tonight's H.C. Dime novel begins with a letter that is addressed as such. T. 
to Edward Gordon from Robert Stockton regarding Edward Highway Gordon. robbery uh, from Robert Edward Stockton regarding further reflection Edward Highway robbery. The last letter from may have come across Robert as a bit heavy handed. And for that, I apologize. Okay, we're going to start over because that definitely. What the hell happened there? Okay. Take two. Live streaming. Yeehaw. <laughs> All right. Take two. Recording. For the wow, it is still doing it. What is... Is it here? One second. Apologize for this. Here we go. Silence. Ah, that's what we like. Okay. Carmel's Content Dime Novel, issue number 16. The Watchman. Starts with a letter. That letter is addressed as such. H.C. Tourism Desk. To Edward Gordon. From Robert Stockton. Regarding Highway Robbery. Dear Edward, upon further reflection, the last letter may have come across as a bit heavy-handed, and for that, I apologize. Your telegram caught me off guard, and things have been a little on edge as of recent. Chuck it up to bad timing and all-around jangled nerves. Transportation around these parts has been treacherous at best. It's almost guaranteed that you'll run into some kind of opportunist with a handgun and a dream. Shit, just earlier this week, the stagecoach was robbed in broad daylight. The driver shot and left for dead by the side of the road. The coach company is talking about hiring protection just to make the daily runs around the state. Not the kind of thing that you have in your monthly credit on your accounting sheet, is it, Gordo? There'd be questions about $800 a month for hired goons. You'd begin to hear whispers from the folks at the Sunday high tea, wouldn't you, Eddie? The local law enforcement has been stretched so thin out west that they've resorted to openly recruiting anyone with a clean record and willingness to take a bullet for the team. I've decided to take your advice, and I'm going out there to look into these individuals who have taken it upon themselves to bring the hammer down on the fear that lurks in the highways. The lightning speed with which these bandits work, and their ability to disappear into the desert, makes finding them next to impossible in the vast scorching heat of New Austin. Imagine looking for a penny in that mountain of cash that you sleep on each night, Mr. Gordon. Just think of it. Not an easy task at all, eh, coach? If there's any hope of bringing carefree travel to these parts, it may rest in those who call themselves rangers. You better damn well hope that they succeed out there, because once word gets out that there's vast amounts of money where you are, Eddie, they won't think twice about packing up their best neckerchiefs and setting up shop on the corner of Mulberry and Baynard. Better support your local sheriff, or gather your pesos into one sombrero, and hope the hombre you hire doesn't turn out to be like one of your Wall Street buddies, Mr. Gordon. Something to think about, for sure. The sun is coming up, and it's time to make that long trek out west. Take care, Edward, and don't forget to tip your coachman a little bit extra tonight. Sincerely, Robert. Enclosed is an expense report and request for an armored stagecoach rental.
Alrighty. We are underway. Uh, as you can see here, a couple of things. Okay, um... One of those things is, uh... Let's just say Robert's injured. Yes! Lou! Robert! Hey! What's up, man? How you been? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's Good. okay. Uh... Oh, we, we thought you were, uh, Ranger Crimes. Oh, uh, nope. It's, uh, it's me. How you doing? Yeah, good, good. It's good to see you. I, uh, I was, uh, actually headed out here, uh, to, uh, meet up with some folks and, uh, just woke up. I'd been, uh, sleeping out back there behind the barn. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I gotta, I gotta run over to, uh, uh, Tumbleweed, but, uh, is there, uh, any other Rangers around? Uh, at the moment, they're all in Blackwater for the event. There's oh, that's event right. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, that's good. Then uh, that means they're around, which is important. Um, but uh, I, I have to, uh, I have to run over to the doctor there in uh, Tumbleweed. Uh, all right, I'll let you go. I just wanted to see, uh, see yep. who that was. Okay, yeah, no, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, are you gonna be? Uh, where are you gonna be today? Well, I'm, I'm traveling with Marshall uh, Woody right now, so... Oh, okay, I'll, okay. I'll be all around. I got you. I got you got my telegram, right? Yes, I do. Uh, let me... Yeah, uh, well, hold on. You know what? Let me uh, let me double check that. 68594, if you don't. Uh... 68594? Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I'll hit you up, but uh, I plan on uh, kind of being around the area right now. So, uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll probably see you guys, you know. That's kind of what I figured. I'd, I'd probably run into somebody. All right. Yeah, okay. if you run into any problems, just send me a telegram. Will do. Will do. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Have a good day. Damn it. 6859-something. Hook me up, cat. There it is. Dang it. You know, I've got like five pens laying around here, and damned if you can ever find them. pen now though okay so well all okay, right uh, the long and short of it is uh, Robert is uh, in need of going to the doctor um, and I'm going to uh, attempt to attempt to work with this a little bit uh, as we go along tonight but uh, we uh, okay we had run in with a bear and then, and then again and then again and then again and I think it about five or six times uh, I learned something that I think is probably going to make that not an issue any longer but I don't know for certain because I think it was glitched to start with um, because it would not like I was like all right okay fine you know I'll just wait and uh, get up and, and just walk away you know when when it walks away type of thing you know it sat right on top of me not only did it sit on top of me I get a great screenshot of it basically with its, uh, its paw in my chest and screaming um, <laughs> 
Not me, because I had, I had been unconscious for at least three or four of the maulings. Damn it, I knew it was this way. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, and it was, it was in this weird, like, kind of glitched area where, like, I was trying to climb up a rock, and then I don't know how it levitated, but it levitated. And, uh... So, okay, I was like, all right, fine. I'll just wait until, you know, I can res at a doctor. Uh, well, that got me resed about a foot and a half from the mouth of the bear. And that was, I think, I think that was uh, mauling number probably two and three. But uh, I could not get out of it. And I tried to wait outweighed it, you know, see if it would uh, go away when the daytime came, and it did not. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think I found something, so, and I don't know if it was just because it was glitched and it worked, so, if we're ever getting mauled by a bear again, we, uh, we might have a good chance of surviving it. Hey, what's up, Alt? Thank you. I appreciate you being here, and it's, it's very good to uh, to have you here in the channel, uh, joining on in tonight. We're doing uh, Dime Numble number 16, and uh, we're out west. We are we are as west as we can get. Uh, it is cactuses and uh, I don't know scrub scrub brush, pretty much. Uh. The, there's still lizards and Gila monsters and, and that kind of stuff running around here, but uh, they seem a little out of place. But it is snowing, too. That's part of why they seem out of place. And uh, so, yeah, uh, so Robert is headed to the doctor. And okay, and okay, here's what happened, chat, is I was going to come out here for uh, the start of the stream uh, today, and there's a rainbow. Cool. So yeah, I was going to start out the stream uh, out here. And kind of, kind of like a, like a noob, I was like, all right, well, let's take our brand new horse, and that way we can work on training it off, you know, off screen, so that you guys don't get bored sitting here watching me brush the horse a hundred thousand times. Uh, so yeah, so I decided that, and then mistake number two that I made in that run was. It was early evening when I started getting into the tall trees area. And I've played enough that I know better than that. Um, but for some reason I wasn't really thinking about it, which is usually how that kind of a scenario plays out. Um, and uh, yeah, sure enough, as soon as the bear roared the first time, uh, my horse just completely froze up. And I knew I was screwed at that point, because it was just a matter of where it was going to dump me on the ground. And hopefully that I wouldn't just instantly be dead on the ground from being thrown off the horse, because I've had that happen before. I think it actually happened on George, uh, in uh, one of the earlier dime novels. Oops, yeah, let's put you away. Um, so yeah, I... Ended up, yeah, getting pretty mauled. It is. Let me let me just say to you that uh, it uh, it it may be something that I go do just to show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of tonics and uh, hope for the best at that point. But, jeez. Uh, uh, oh, I did another experiment, too, that I'll have to uh, explain to you in a little bit. We'll save that for later. But, uh, yeah, uh, Robert is uh, noticeably having issues. 
uh, it's part of why I found, a, found this veteran. The walk is called Veteran. I'm not. There you go. Uh, yeah, so the walk is here in the walking styles, and it's a. Uh, it's actually buried. It's called Veteran. And uh, you kind of have this like sort of limp going, which I think works out pretty good because it basically grabbed his left side and threw him around like a rag doll uh, quite a few times. So yeah, it was definitely one of those like, all right, now this first time was, you know, surprising, a little shocking. Second time was kind of like, all right, is, is the game going to do me like that? And, uh, yeah, turn off. So my original plan was to come all the way out here, but I thought it actually best to, uh, just park there in the, uh, the first town that I came to and call my luck bad enough as it was. Thankfully. Heal up. Okay. That's a good start. And the store is right here. Oh, hey. I actually get a couple of uh, a large and a medium miracle tonic. Mm, let's see. All right. So that was kind of our singular focus there, was to get out here, get that done. Put that away. And grab some heat. And, uh, oh, let's see. I don't expect they're, like he said, uh, they're going to mostly be in Blackwater, so I am, I'm a ways away from that right now. But... Mm, it's okay. McCarthy. Here, there it is. Ooh. Don't have enough money. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the trick. There we go. That was the one that I had learned earlier for a little bit easier to position yourself just right. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Here's the great thing in this. together here we're still going to be doing a little bit of a limpy walk here at least until nighttime
Oh, shit. I think there's a... Okay. That's right. It's that building there. Right here. Woodworking. Logs, planks, figures, tools, carvings, furniture. You think of it, I'll build it. Hmm. One automobile, please. Closed for Blackwater Sheriff election ballots are being tallied. Candidates will be notified of the results will be posted soon. Interesting. Like I said, I was interested to see how the uh, the new election system worked, and uh, that's a like a full system message. Kind of cool. Okay, and uh, yeah, I had mentioned uh, there was another, there was another experiment uh, that I was uh, working on, and uh, for this particular experiment, I needed to go back to the farm up in the north, uh, the little ranch up there that uh, we got uh, our Arabian, our white Arabian horse from. And found out a couple of things about how that works. Um, when I got there and you go to sell, you can only sell horses purchased from that location. Um, and they, you don't get full price back for them. But here's the thing. When you buy, if you buy it again, that particular horse, when... I bought it again, everything here that I had on it, everything that I had set on it, and even the level that it was at in training, stayed. So the next, when I, when I purchased it again, it came back out exactly as it was when I sold it. And uh, it uh, has the same training level on it too. Um, like I said, you just have to pay a little bit more for it. But uh, the the only downside that I saw on it was the fact that I could not rename it uh, the exact same thing that I had called it before. And uh, not that that's a huge difference. I just ended up we we now have we have changed uh, the name of uh, shark. Shark is not as much of a shark. Shark is now called pale. Uh, I know, I know, I forgot to give you, give you brushies. So, it's fairly close, like, I, I think I'm, like, maybe 60 or so away from getting it to level 2 at this point. And, uh, like I said, this is not, uh, intended to be a main horse at all. This is a, a Robert, uh, personality trait that, uh, I, don't, I didn't know. 
Uh, was I didn't know he was gonna want a damn ranch. Well, I did kind of know that. We're a farm to raise peacocks. Oh, sweet. Is that a, was that a, come on, open up. Is that a uh, clip? Okay, yeah, it says clipped, okay. Yeah, they played around with the highlight thing and uh, got to uh, all of that other one. This one was a good one. I like the, I like the, um, um, <laughs> the apology for uh, going a bit off the handle. <laughs> In the classic backhanded apology sort of way. things out chat all right starting off with seems appropriate too. Um, okay, here we go.
Jesus. Jesus, mister, you okay? I'm climbing down the brake. All right, world. Let me see how it's gonna be. It's the Christmas music, isn't it? <laughs> I've even going like really slow too. That's the other weird thing about that. Horse, don't try me on this. No. Not at all, huh? There you go. That was weird. That was definitely an unexpected event.
All right, we made it here. That's a good start. Good lord. <laughs> this has been the, the the rockiest start so far. And it just gets started that way. God damn. Who is here? So, yes, this is uh, Armadillo, um, the uh, the saloon here in Armadillo. This is uh, where we were the other night uh, hanging out. And uh, we met uh, Henry who uh, drank a lot. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. It was a great little location. Especially like uh, the candle lighting that's in here and this clock that's a fancy grandfather clock yeah good good catch on that christmas time for crashes Good lord. It was so weird, too, because, like, I saw it coming, and then, I don't know, it did a weird warpy thing. We'll see. I suspect I wasn't there. Or I was, in some weird way. save that for later too. It's gonna be his signature thing, I think.
just gonna have to carry it around. That's fine. Suddenly the the cricket went away. You eat oranges and the crickets go away. That's pretty good. Alright. Main reason we're here is apparently we don't have any money. Every good holiday story should start out like that, right? See that? Yeah, there you go. You got it. Christmas miracle. No, not enough money. Damn. Alright, this is gonna be pricey. Just be patient. doesn't it, Jeff? Alright. The horse better appreciate this and not dump me into the middle of the friggin' bear's maw next time. Not having much hope of that, but... Go. What shaky? Two? No? Can't do that? One? Oh. Really? How much does that stuff weigh? Except that I 
Okay. Uh, so that's done. And good. Man. That's more than I think I've been able to get all week. Ooh. Yeah. Need to. Need to go this way. this real quick. better with the door thing. Okay. Should be decent on time at this point. Right, you have to go up that one side. <clears throat>
What the hell is that? Omen, don't we? Or at least we've seen this omen before. Two squirrels running just in front of us here. We've seen it, but we don't know what it means yet, right? We'll figure it out. In the meantime, uh, thanks again, everybody, for joining us. Uh, folks over on uh, YouTube, appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, subscribe over there. That way you'll get uh, updates when I go live with uh, more HC Dime novels in the future. And then, uh, of course, those of you hanging out over on, uh, on, on Twitch, I appreciate you being there as well, and uh, if you could give me a follow, that would also be appreciated. area up here.
Hello there. Howdy. Who are you? Uh, My name's uh, Robert. Can I help you? This is a uh, occupied military fort. Yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, out to where the uh, the rangers are, right? That's right. You're yeah, talking to Ranger okay. Marshall. Oh, excellent. Uh, my name's Robert. Robert uh, Stockton. I think I've heard your name before. What's you do, friend? I'm a I'm a writer, uh, and uh, working on uh, just writing uh, stories for a dime novel, and uh, wanted to uh, uh, get to uh, at least meet uh, some of you folks out here, and uh, uh, see what you do. So that uh, I can let people back east know uh, what it is you guys do out here. I think that's a fine idea, but uh, mm -hmm. it costs a kind of a rough time. Okay. I think it's only myself and one other ranger that's around. Uh, hey, that's not a problem. Things got a, things got a little hectic. I, I understand. New Austin lately. Okay. Yeah, I understand. It's a uh, you know, it's a uh, it's been uh, I, I've been kind of uh, speaking with a few folks. Uh, I got a chance to uh, talk with uh, a John Crimes. Uh, a couple of well, yes, a week ago or so, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he was uh, uh, he said uh, that uh, some of the uh, gentlemen would be uh, interested in uh, uh, speaking with me, uh, so I could do some like interviews and stuff. But uh, you know, I, I know you guys are uh, like super busy, obviously, uh, because uh, boy, lately it has been uh, rough. Well, it certainly has to be honest. I'll be you. Mm -hmm. I was asleep. I only woke up because my horse needed some, uh, some tending to. Understand. Yeah, I, I can sit around in the chair for a little while. Oh, okay. Well, I would, uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, you know, like I said, if, if you get to, if you're busy and, uh, have things to do, I can, uh, I, I can always come back out here. No, no, no. Okay. Not at all. Like I said, I'm, I mean, you see the state I'm in, I'm not exactly in the state to ride at the moment. I'm just going to be around the fort taking care of chores for the most part. Understand. Understood. Are you, uh, uh, are you training a, a new horse? Uh, no, this is a horse I've had for okay. a long, long time. So okay. I like to just, just wake up to check on him every now and then. Understand. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of, uh, try to do the same. I, uh, I just got to a really nice one, uh, from way, way, way up north. And, uh, I've been, uh, training the damn thing. But uh, I do have, uh, you know, like uh, some snacks and stuff if uh, if you uh, need them for uh, any any purpose out here. Oh, that, that's perfectly fine. Thanks for the offer, but uh, we, we keep good stocks of it. I figured, yeah, I figured, you know. I just happened to, to right. run into a good stock of them, and, uh, you know, I always like to uh, share it when I get extra. Mm. If you would like, we have a, a stable in the back. I don't think you can get your wagon through the... Uh... A tunnel here, but there is a okay. entrance just around the other side. I'll, I'll mount up my tree. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Uh, I saw it over there. It's like a, a back in this corner over here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it kind of came in uh, through the back way. Please. So you say you're from uh, out east? We're talking San Diego. We're talking really far east. Oh, we're talking uh, really far. I uh, well, actually, I was uh, uh, originally uh, 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 did uh, some uh, journalism work in New York, and then uh, got sent out to Washington for a while. And uh, since then, uh, this friend of mine, uh, like I said, got this uh, dime novel and uh been uh, helping him by writing stories and he sent me out here originally to uh saint denis to uh cover uh, the uh, uh there was a rumor that uh, the national league was uh looking at uh, saint denis for uh, a baseball team of all things jesus yeah well, that's what i thought too when i got out here i was like well i don't i don't even think uh, they have baseball fields out here so, uh, you know, I've been uh, just basically kind of going around and uh, meeting the folk and uh, getting an opportunity to, you know, send them some stories about uh, something other than uh, just uh, uh, sports type stuff. 
Oh, you'll find a lot to write about in here. Mm hmm. Good oh, yeah. Lots of folk here. It's a cultural melting pot. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. It, uh, I, I've, uh, I've been, uh, really lucky and, uh, uh, met quite a few folks. And then on top of that, I've had a few, a few moments of, uh, you know, uh, high stress. And, uh, <laughs> they make good stories. Yeah, when you survive them. Yeah, well, <laughs> boy, yeah, tell me about it. I hope you haven't run into too much trouble, though, especially down here. Um, actually, I've been, I, I would have to say I have been extremely lucky. Okay. That's good to hear. The, uh, the unfortunate moments are, uh, few and far between, and when they, uh, when they happen, they're, uh, you know, they could always be so much worse. So, you know, I, I count my blessings in, in that case. Indeed. All right, you. Let's get you stable. I'll be back in a moment. Yo, uh, no problem. All right, we got somebody to talk with. you anything i've got a few strips of jerky a couple uh bottles of birdies water uh, oh uh actually i'm uh, i'm i'm fairly good right now uh i brought uh, i got a bunch of oranges and uh, i've been uh, kind of living off of those you know vitamin c and all yeah they'll keep you going all right mm -hmm. um do we have like a, a maybe a place that we could sit down because <laughs> i uh i'm a, a it's kind of recovering uh from uh well a, a bear uh mauling oh shit yeah, yeah we'll uh, we've got some tables just around here. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, the uh, the bastard caught me out in uh, uh, tall trees. And uh, like I said, I was training that new horse, and uh, that horse was not uh, not not uh, in the best of uh, spirits when it came to that. Yeah, that tall trees will get you. Hmm, for sure. The chair's frozen to the floor again. Uh, yeah, appears to be. Uh, let me see here. It might be a little tight, but uh, I could, might be able to get by you with it. It's actually down in tall trees where I got, well, my arm in this state. Okay, okay. Uh, I tend to avoid those woods where I can, but yeah. what's exactly my choice? Uh, so, uh, uh, uh Basically, uh, what I'm, I'm kind of looking for is uh, I'd like to uh, kind of learn a little bit more about uh, what exactly uh, what exactly you guys cover. Did you get a little something in your throat there? Yeah. Oh, um. Damn. Yeah, apparently. Uh, can you hear me at this point? I can now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it was uh, just uh, something else I was doing. Um, yeah, so, uh, what I was looking to do was, uh, uh speak with, just, uh, uh, with you guys as far as, uh, like, what, uh, what you do out here. Well, effectively, we are what's left of the law down at least in this state. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, effectively on the same kind of power level as, say, U.S. Marshal, except we're restricted specifically to New Austin. We specialize... Okay. In this sort of terrain. I see. So, uh, like, uh, I guess, the, I guess this is like a, a, a much larger jurisdiction than uh, anything else, uh, as, aside from, uh, I guess, the uh, uh, the marshals. That's right. Okay. We're, we're sort of in a, uh, a between, uh, being a sheriff and a in a marshal kind of situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, uh, the marshals don't supersede us. When they come down here. They still have to abide by our laws. They have to follow our our lead on things. Oh. Okay. But, uh, they still have jurisdiction down there, but only about as much as we do. I see, I see. So it, it makes a good, uh, I guess, a good crossover, uh, then, uh, between the two, uh, divisions. Yeah, we've been getting a gotcha. lot of martial activity, because, uh, well, New Austin likes to... A lot of people like to treat New Austin like it's a hiding spot. I got gotcha. a lot of bad stuff out in the rest of the states, and they come down to New Austin for, to hide. Yeah, yeah. So we I keep an eye out for things, and 
when uh, they've done things outside of our jurisdiction, we let the marshals know and let them come down here to deal with them. I see, I see. Okay, uh, yeah, it kind of, uh, I, I get that impression uh, in speaking with a few folks about uh, traveling out here, uh, was that uh, it was a, a, a difficult uh, situation because of the large area that needs to be covered. And uh, not only that, but the fact that there are so many places to uh, to just disappear into. How, uh, there is. How do you guys work with that? Uh, do you use uh, like larger posses or uh, individual uh, groups? We tend to uh, we, we tend to separate the states into smaller areas and assign people day I by see. day to those specific areas whenever they're on duty. I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're just basically uh, you break it up into uh, uh, like precincts then, uh, kind of like they yeah, do in New York. Much. I got you. Okay. We we, se we separated into uh, Gap Tooth Ridge around Tumbleweed. Okay. Uh, Rio Bravo around the fort. Chola Springs around Armadillo, and uh, the area towards Redford. We tend to we tend to patrol that area in bigger groups because it's kind of a hot hey. spot for highway robbers and the like. I see. Okay. Uh, well, it's uh, not only good for me to know, but uh, also uh, definitely uh, uh, an interesting uh, idea behind uh, what goes on out here. Yeah, what? they like to hit it because it's really the the one place you can get a cart and horse up and out of New Austin and into West Elizabeth. I got you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I've noticed that myself uh, because, I, I, as you can see there, I, I prefer to use the buggy. Uh, so that I can, uh, you know, carry along uh, extra uh, notebooks and uh, uh, just other items that I work with, uh, which uh, aren't going to fit on a horse real well. Yeah, you're probably going to slip under the uh, under the sides of most people that want to rob expensive belongings. Because mm -hmm. let's face it, you see a buggy, yeah. you don't see a lot of money on there. Well, not only that, but uh, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I the last uh, group that uh, held me up, uh, I explained to them, I'm like, look, I'm I'm a writer. You know, I mean, uh, I, I can pay you in words, but that's about it. <laughs> Out the tight bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, something uh, I was wondering and uh, including in in your uh, jurisdiction and area. Do you guys uh, head out all the way to Blackwater or uh, do you cut off uh, basically at the ridge there? We cut off at the lower Montana River. Okay. Once you cross the water to the uh, northeast Okay. Redford Ranch, but when when local law, specifically sheriffs, mm -hmm. request our help, they can temporarily extend our jurisdiction into their area. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Because there was a situation not too long ago where mm -hmm. the Bollard gang mm -hmm. rolled through Blackwater, dragging bodies behind them with their lassos. Good and lord. Causing a nasty nasty ruckus up in Blackwater yeah. proper. Yeah, I, I got the impression that they were uh, uh, they were just uh, savage uh, for a while there. That they are. They were nasty. They specifically avoided Blackwater mm. because uh, well, the people of Blackwater they're able to defend themselves. And yeah. they will jump with the chance to. Yeah, I definitely got that about uh, quite a few of them there. I was uh, lucky enough to uh, uh, um, basically once I started to, uh, to uh, get out of uh, the Saint Denis area uh, I was lucky enough to run into quite a few folks there in Blackwater uh, that were uh, very hospitable, and uh, boy, they they were definitely you could tell that they were uh, they were big on uh, their town. They uh, they were definitely willing to defend it. Mm, they're proud of where they come from. They're proud of everyone in there. They'll you know gladly put their lives on the line to protect them. But in that situation, uh, there was not enough marshals in these states. Not yep. enough U.S. marshals being sent down. To deal with them okay so the sheriff requested help from the rangers and temporarily extended our jurisdiction into west elizabeth i see yeah we still had to follow by the sheriff the sheriff was still you know he still had the final word on everything gotcha. we had to follow his lead yeah. but we could operate up there just to help keep an eye on the place that makes sense that makes yeah that's a uh... That's a, a definitely a good way to go about it, uh, because uh, mm -hmm. you're not uh, overextending yourself uh, in uh, having to patrol that on top of it to uh, use the local law enforcement to uh, to uh, assist you. And uh, basically, they know, they know what they're doing. 
you know they they live exactly. there so uh, exactly me me and uh, me and north we we work well we have on multiple occasions okay so when he asked me to talk to the other rangers about doing this i jumped at the chance to help him he's a good man okay i got you uh, that's uh north is a uh, uh, whom again he is i believe the sheriff of, uh, of blackwater okay. he has been for a long time i don't know if north if uh, nora has superseded him yet okay uh, but I know there's a, an election going on at the moment. And yeah. He is not uh, running for another term. Yeah, that was uh, that was actually uh, uh, what I was uh, uh, thinking is that uh, I, I needed to uh, uh, check on that and uh, see because if I'm correct, uh, that that election should be uh, completed. And uh, I would think that they'd have a tally by now. I'll have to go up there and look. I mm -hmm. really hope Nora, uh, Nora got the job she deserves. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, I, I I briefly met her a couple of days ago. Um, I was uh, <laughs> involved in a, a hijacking and a bank robbery situation uh, there, and uh, yeah, I, I got it. Uh, well, I got to meet everybody, but uh, not under the best of circumstances. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. You know, it was uh, it was it was quite a thing, and uh, I was, was very. It, uh... The gang in green bandanas that was doing no. it, or was that? Uh... Oddly enough, it was a uh, it was one guy. Uh, he uh, called himself the Lost Boy or Lost Boys. I'm, I'm, I was a little confused because it it, uh, it was all a bit That's of a, a blur. Network. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much more you're gonna see of him. Um, he uh, he decided to uh, shoot his way out. And uh, and then I uh, didn't get out of that one. Yeah, well, and then uh, you know I was given a statement over at uh, at the uh, the sheriff's office there, and uh, I don't know. Uh, just uh, while we were there, uh, there was an incident with a, uh, a tomahawk. Apparently, he tried to throw a tomahawk, and uh, it bounced off the bars. I don't know how he got it or or what, but uh, I don't know. It was a, it was definitely a weird situation that uh, I was uh, uh, you know uh, ready to get out of. Yeah, you got to be questioning whether you've been jinxed to have luck like that, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, well, you know, it, 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 I, I would think so, and then uh, it actually turned out to be a really uh, interesting story that uh, a lot of people out east wanted to know more about this uh, this lost boy and uh, what what was his his deal. But uh, really, all I could tell you was uh, that he, he liked to uh, uh, say that he was going to stick you like a pig and uh, threaten to skin you every so often. So, you know, not, not, I, I was not a big talker, but uh, definitely you knew he meant business. Hmm. But, I uh, think I recognize the fellow by that description. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think he, I saw him riding around before. Yeah, he, well, he, uh, he was... Uh, like I said, he was a, a very colorful individual, and uh, I, I don't know. He, uh, he 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 thought well. He thought I was going to be able to help him, but uh, you know, I'm uh, uh, not uh, well versed in uh, the uh, the bank robbery arts. But uh, it uh, it turned out to you know, like I said, uh, at least for the better. Uh, a very weird coincidence that uh, while we were uh, in there fidgeting with stuff. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of law officers walked in the door, so yeah, <laughs> it was uh, Just the wrong place at the right time. Yeah, well, that was kind of what I was thinking at that time because I was pretty sure that I wasn't going to get out of there without uh, uh, getting uh, at least some kind of lead poisoning. <clears throat> but anyways, um, yeah, let me uh, let me get back to uh, some of the stuff I wanted to uh, find out. Uh, uh what um what um what do you find is uh, uh kind of the uh, the most rewarding part of uh what you're doing it's mm, a good question mm. because if i'm being person if i'm being quite honest i have a lot of personal reasons for becoming a ranger understood and that goes beyond simply uh being a lawman to try and protect the folk of this wild land we call New Austin. Mm -hmm. Hell, I was a bounty hunter for several years before this, and I straight up told Grimes was begging me to become a ranger, and I told mm -hmm. him straight I would never do it. Okay. And now here I am. Yeah, yeah, well, 
you know, like I said, that's kind of the reason that I ask is uh, because I think it's a, I think it's a good insight into uh, uh, just the uh, uh, the idea behind uh, the folks that uh, do this out here is uh, to get a few people's uh, impression of uh, what they consider uh, the job to be. Because it, it, I, th- it, I think it, if you were to ask most people around here, because mm-hmm. if I'm being per- perfectly honest, most of the rangers that I've worked with. I worked with before any of us were rangers. Okay. We were all bounty hunters or gunslingers or higher security of one form or another. Sure. And uh, I think we all got kind of tired of not being able to do more. Understand. Of seeing folk like the Ballards just get away with everything that they do. Yo, and yeah. seeing that forces like the Rangers existed but didn't have the numbers to do anything about it. Yeah. Now we do. Yeah, that's a, what, you're, what you're hitting on is a, a very much what I've been uh, saying uh, to uh, the Home Office is that uh, it's been more of an issue of uh, manpower. And uh, it mm-hmm. appears that, uh, that not only are, are we uh, looking at uh, them expanding the, uh, the number of Rangers, but uh, I would have to say that uh, just from the few folks that I've met, it appears that the caliber of uh, the individuals that they're looking for is uh, a little bit uh, higher than uh, just uh, somebody that can hold a gun. Well, we train uh, mm-hmm. the folk that want to join. We test their metal, we see what they're made of. We have a long checklist of uh, things you have to complete before becoming a full ranger. Mm-hmm. And we've had folk drop out in the recruitment phase. Okay. It can get pretty tough. Yeah, I can imagine. It's a, you know, it, it, you have to, you, you almost have to uh, uh, make sure that uh, any individuals you're going to uh, set loose on this territory are going to have uh, the skills in order to survive because it is an unforgiving uh, place. Yeah, it takes a lot of grit to make, uh, make things like this work out here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's I, I think that's that's kind of the big uh, the big takeaway that uh, I want to try to give uh, the folks back east is that uh, it's a uh, it, it is a uh, it, it definitely falls into the category of like a calling, almost. I don't want to give it to uh, like a religious overtone, but uh, it, it does. You know, it, it's a. Uh, it feels like that uh, is a, a big part of it. Is that uh, this isn't like something that you just uh, uh, go? Oh, I want to do this for a weekend, you know? Right. No, I just need to stretch my legs. Yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking that myself. One second. Hey, if I'm being hey, honest, hey, you're not wrong. Uh, I originally came from. Thank you for the follow. But also done in. It's the happy day. Nice day so, but. After I came up here, New Austin's as close as I have to a home. It's been that way for, okay, I don't know, six, seven years now. Really? Okay. Wow. So, you, so, so you're you're extremely knowledgeable in the territory. That's that's excellent. <laughs> yeah, there's a it's a never changing land. There's always something new to see out there. But, uh, I'll bet. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, to be honest, I, I was working hard security for a fellow up in Valentine for a long time. A long time. Okay. And you're not wrong when you say that it's sort of a calling thing. Mm-hmm. I just kept feeling myself getting drawn back to this place. I see. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely uh, that that fits a lot of uh, what I, I kind of get, the feel that I get from uh, uh, the folks around here. Is uh, It is a uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's it's more, it's a little more than a, uh, the old love for territory or uh, homeland. It's a, it's a, it, it's a, uh, yeah, it, it, it's definitely a calling. You yeah. know, mm. that's a, that's very interesting. I really do appreciate uh, the uh, the insight. I know, uh, you know, it, it kind of comes across maybe a little bit, a uh, little bit personal, uh, never having met me before, but uh, I appreciate it. No, that's fine. I mean, again, if I'm being honest, usually mm-hmm. I'm a little more quiet and reserved than this, but I've found myself in a more talkative mood as these uh, past well, coming weeks. So excellent. maybe since becoming a ranger, it's made something better of me. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I uh, like I said, I, I appreciate uh, not only the the fact that you're uh, uh, letting me uh, uh, interview on this, but the fact that uh, you are uh, putting yourself out there uh, for dealing with this stuff because uh, you know it, it is a uh, it's a uh, definitely part of uh, I think what's necessary uh, to uh, get the uh, the whole uh, country together. Uh, is to uh, basically uh, kind of get these frontier areas a little bit more uh, stable. Precisely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know, uh, is there a, uh, is there any other uh, law enforcement agency that's uh, similar to this? Maybe like uh, covering back east, or is this very unique for the territory? Uh, it's very unique for the territory, okay. but if you go far enough east into saint Denis, you could run into some blueberries the uh, San Denis Police yeah. Department. Yeah, actually, uh, it's interesting. You know, I, uh, uh, well, about a week ago, I had a, a discussion with a lot of the uh, um, the business owners there in uh, uh, San Denis about the fact that uh, there doesn't seem to be as much of a presence of law, but uh, somehow it does stay uh, relatively, uh, you know, stable. But... San Denis is a strange place. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's well... A little too big and loud and confusing for my liking, but uh, mm -hmm. they have their own way of things and they make it work. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's a, a big part of it, 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 it is uh, too. When I came out here, originally I uh, wasn't uh, well. You know, I'd come from the cities, and uh, I wasn't as familiar with uh, uh, this, this uh, everything, the the how huge. Uh, the world is outside of a, a city type area and uh, it has definitely been a treat to uh, you know get to get out into the open and uh, boy I, I, I completely understand what you're saying about uh, cities being uh, crowded and uh, somewhat irritating <laughs> uh, you sit around here long enough I'm sure you'll find something to complain about oh well, yeah well that's that's hate true the yeah. Gear monsters but uh, yeah well it's you know, its own unique breed of its own unique breed of hellhole. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, that's true of anything. I mean, uh, you know, if you if you uh, if you love something, you will uh, tend to find uh, its faults much quicker, and uh, right. you know, especially uh, like uh, this kind of thing, because uh, I think at some point um, I was uh, I'm kind of looking for uh, basically a new location to uh, set up my Honam office, and uh, this this uh, uh, the dry air out here uh, does wonders. Or, uh, for you. Well, if you're thinking about setting up office somewhere, uh, mm -hmm. I could certainly pass that on to some of the higher up rangers and we can scout out a, a good office for you. Maybe an armadillo or tumbleweed. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, like I said, I, I, I haven't, uh, haven't really established too much. I, like, I, I, I was in Blackwater, uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, but, uh, they have a, a bit of a, a problem with cougars there that, uh, I, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not, not very thrilled with. Uh, so, you know. Has it, William been seen around? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I, at first I didn't believe any of the Gary the Horse stuff when he, he was talking about it. And, uh, boy, uh, there is, a, a at least a, one, one good, uh, one good article that I had, uh, sent back. Uh, after witnessing uh, one of the uh, the cougar uh, come just flying out of his uh, his back room, and uh, good lord, it it, uh, it gave me the shakes <laughs> for at least a day. You and me both, partner. You and me both. <laughs> I thought he was so crooked he could he could chew on a nail and spit out a corkscrew. <laughs> well, uh, my my feeling was is that uh, you know the way things had been going. Uh, the next time I, I went back there, that uh, there'd be a, a, at least a cougar running the uh, the mayor's office. <laughs> Just crazy. But well, uh, yeah, truth be told, uh, it's not just Blackwater that gets that. It was pretty mm -hmm. much anywhere William went, because I was in San Denis <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago, and they started propping up in the Bastille over there. <laughs> we kidding? were all confused because we did not see William around anywhere. <laughs> But a few hours later, we're walking through roads and we see William riding away from Saint Denis, screaming his ear, our ears off. <laughs> a kid, he's 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 a he's he's a kid. He is he is quite a kid. I uh, I, I enjoyed hanging out he, with him. He he really doesn't deserve. All no, the shit he does he not. Gets. 
but uh, you know like i said i didn't believe the gary the horse thing and then uh, like you said i i noticed that uh, boy it was sure sure enough that was going on an awful lot uh, when uh, william was around hmm. but uh, yeah that, that's that's uh, that's great i uh i i it, again it was kind of one of those things when i first came here um i uh, you know i was talking with folks and you know i being a journalist you get to you get used to uh, uh talking with people and uh and hearing some just outlandish uh tales because uh, most of the time you're trying to you know get information while uh, maybe having a drink or two so you know you're never really sure if it's real or not and uh you know sure enough i'm, I'm there in uh, saint denis and uh, this guy's telling me that uh, there is apparently a, you know some kind of a, a thing where there's a squirrel that uh, that uh, is wielding a pistol that uh, is on top of a mountain and you, you listen to that kind of thing and you go no come on that is not not anything that's that's real but you know after the after watching what happened with william uh, maybe that kind of thing might be real i can actually confirm that <laughs> really okay so it's at the top of mount it's either mount hagen or mount, mount sean yeah i had heard hagen uh, so, okay, yeah, so we, the, uh, oh, over at the uh, the Strawberry Harvest Festival, they were doing a uh, a, a ride along, just okay. like a, a quick trail ride. Mm -hmm. About maybe a dozen to sixteen of us. Uh, we just rode all the way up the mountain and just did some sightseeing. And sure <laughs> enough, there was that <laughs> damn squirrel dressed up like a little gunslinger. Oh my God, you, that's that's uh, that's insane. Uh, yeah, that, okay, and see now. Officially, at this point, now I can actually uh, send that back to the home office because you get stories like that, and you know, one person tells you, "Okay, that's a drunk," and then a second person tells you that, and okay, well, you that's know, maybe. a pattern. Yeah, well, and you're now the third, so that's usually I like to kind of put it at threes, and uh, you know, if I get a third on a confirmation of a, a really crazy tale that I haven't uh, actually seen myself, uh, okay, I'll I'll let them know for sure. But uh, yeah, again, thank you. <laughs> For uh, uh, <laughs> unlocking uh, yet Not again another uh, uh, weird weird tale from uh, uh, the uh, the crossing here. If you ever want to see, you could head up to Strawberry and ask some of the folk around there. Just uh, really? point you in the right direction. Yeah, well, I've heard uh, I've heard that there's uh, actually quite a few interesting things up there to see, and uh, there's a, a group of folks uh, around that uh, apparently deal with uh, like uh, paranormal and uh, just the things that are weird the grim hunter society there you go. yes there you go yeah yeah that's some yeah that's uh, i figured at some point i'd uh, run into uh, one or two of them and uh, uh you know have them show me around the only one that i know personally is a uh, small australian lady by the name of flo flo that name's familiar i have uh, i've definitely run into that name uh, previously so yeah, yeah she's a uh, short short australian lady with uh red hair usually tied back okay. in a bun okay okay oh good good yeah that's a good lead i'll uh i'll definitely uh, uh ask around for her. uh because you know like i said uh, you know a lot of this stuff i don't uh, i don't really know but the nice thing is is that uh, the uh the dime novel uh pretty much pays for everything so you know if i if i need to uh, hire folks to take me out someplace yeah, i can i can cover that no problem Hmm. Uh, I will say, uh, looks like this snowstorm is starting to really yeah. ramp up. Yeah. Uh, there's a risk that you might end up uh, losing your wagon in the storm if you don't get to a stable real quick. Yeah, that's a, that's a, actually what I was thinking, uh, that I should probably make a, a quick run. Yeah. Uh, I, I would escort you, but in the uh, in the state that I'm in, I do need to lay my head back down and let the storm yeah. rest. Not a problem. Uh, once again, I really appreciate it, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll run into each other again sometime soon. I hope so. What, what was your name again? Uh, uh, Robert. Robert Stockton. Robert Stockton? Stockton. Stock. Stockton. There you gotcha. go. That's it. All right. Let's uh, see you to your wagon here. Yes. Thank you very much again, and uh, I appreciate uh, all of the, uh, the great info uh, on this. And, uh, well, yeah. if I were to uh, offer a last-minute piece of advice, yes, you can quote me on this if you so please. Yeah, you bet. Be careful making legends of outlaws. Understood. You never know what you might inspire. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Yeah, very much so. And uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. All right. 
Take care. Yeah, Stay indeed. Mm. The dramatic back out didn't work, Cat. We got a roll. I do not want to get caught out here, but I think I'm going to find a good place. That'll get us where we need to go. That was cool. There we go, Cat. We got a good interview. Solid uh, Ranger interview. What was it I was hoping for? I need to uh, uh, hone the uh, questions a little bit better. And uh, maybe keep down the uh, the rambling ass nature of the uh, interview, but uh, that was one of the things that I was uh, had done a little research on uh, in uh, the interviews. And uh, man, let me tell you, the Ali interview is uh, the Muhammad Ali interview he does is phenomenal. It's very much that right there, the conversational back and forth that uh, allows you to uh, get some really good solid answers uh, from the person you're uh, speaking with. All right, horse. Take us home. I, I don't know if you're still hanging out there, uh, Kate, Madison, but uh, man, I appreciate it. So much not just uh, that you're following but uh, all of the uh, RP and stuff that you do has uh, has been very uh, inspirational for uh, getting on and uh, doing this myself so thank you and uh, again dull thank you for uh, uh, clipping the uh, the dime novel scene from uh, back then because it has come in quite useful uh, for this kind of uh, event. Great. Let's go, horse. Two minutes. We can do this. We got this. Yeah, the uh, the sitting is something that I noticed. Um, I went back and watched the VOD from uh, the political conversation that we had in uh, Saint Denis, and uh, that was one of the things that I'd noticed was uh, positioning uh, for positioning for audio. Wait, Mike. I'm... Nope. I'm 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 good. I'm good. Second guessing myself. There it is. Okay. All right, we good. And what I'm going to do is, um, what I usually do here is, uh, at server reset myself, and I would hope you guys take a little break and, uh, get up, stretch out, get something to drink. And uh, we'll be back in uh, about uh, 15 minutes is usually what I like to kind of take on this. And uh, when we get back, we'll continue on with uh, more of tonight's H.C. Dime novel. Number 14, The Watchmen. Thanks again for uh, following everybody and uh, joining me for the streams. I really do appreciate it. And uh, happy holidays, everybody.
It's just got such a nice, uh, a nice bounce to it. Uh, happy holidays, chat, and, uh, welcome back to, uh, Armel's Content Dime Novel, issue number 16, The Watchman. So, uh, we had a kind of an interesting start, and, uh, got a chance to uh, meet up with, uh, one of the rangers, and like I said, it, uh, this is, uh, I'm hoping to kind of, uh, do something similar with, uh, with quite a few, uh, not just the rangers, but, uh, obviously all of the other, uh, uh, kind of characters here is, is more what I'm going for. Um, maybe a little more indirect with some of the others, uh, than this, where it's a sit-down. Um, but I thought this was a, a better way to kind of go about, uh, especially, uh, bringing uh, this stuff up. And then it was interesting, uh, the last statement that he made there about, uh, uh making heroes out of, uh, uh, the villains. Because, uh, that is, uh, obviously one of the things that you have to be concerned about. But, uh, the best part is, is that, uh, that's up to you. That's your call. You're the one watching the dime novel, not me. I'm just, I'm just piloting Robert around. He tells me what to do. Speaking of. Interesting. Turkomans imported from far eastern deserts. Sold at Sunset Trading Company, Benedict Point. Other imports include Fabiano, Gray, Vero, American Paints, Brown Leopard, Appaloosas, Marlboro, Bino, Bay Brindle, and Blue Roan. Vero, Corellios. I always hated that one. It was such a hard one to say. Uh, Black Taveros and uh, the Mer Missouri Fox Trotters. And uh, I'm guessing that. Yeah. That is actually uh, what our good friend Obi is. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. So let us uh, continue on with HC Dime Novel number 16. Thanks again, everybody, for uh, following, watching, hanging out, and uh, being part of the uh, HC Dime Novel. Appreciate it. This should be kind of fun.
know I wouldn't be thrilled about this either. This may be a little much, but I wanted to give this a try.
Very cool. Yeah, thanks for indulging me there on that. Here you go. Yo. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Give me a second here while I get control of whatever's going on. here for a little bit and uh, we'll have the boy run you over to the other place all right Attempting to uh, put in 
Americanized names anymore. Screw that. Make it real obvious who we are. Can't make that jump. Nope, almost. We're good here. poster <clears throat> interesting whatever it was It would have to be over here. The lighting is a little funky. Right? Yes, that would be correct, but... What am I talking about, chat? I think this. Yeah. Did that work? I don't think I can get... No, I can't get the camera. place the camera won't work on that <clears throat> it's too bad it's fun trying to get to you know Christmas cardy type stuff or uh, the dime novel cover yeah, I got one of this one and it's a pretty good one the one in Blackwater I think is the one that we need to get By the way, Chad, I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, one of the... Oh, yeah, let's grab a couple of these. Uh, one of the things he warned us about was uh, the fine folks that we met yesterday. Or last time novel. Maybe not yesterday. work nicely with this environment. Back to crazy walk chat. Taking two days to recover, which I don't know. I'm sorry, but <laughs> the, the way that Ragdoll works when the uh, when a grizzly gets a hold of you is <laughs> comical and uh, a little disturbing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go with uh, it wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, we should probably, since we got a moment here, kind of a nice, I like this barn, 
go. Let's bail out. I know. So yeah, like I said, uh, basically everything stays the same except for the name. But yeah, it looks great. on candy and horse cream and brushies down here. There's the dude. Good catch on that doll. we're fairly close what I'm trying to kind of do here is get him level two yeah he's got like 347 out of 400 so fairly close and uh, the stuff that we picked up here helps out immensely uh, okay next destination in the uh yeah and the moonlight is just amazing on this horse the light's pretty great but it just glows especially in the snow like this with the slightly white background it stands out like all hell when any other time of the year but uh this looks great stuff anyways by the time we get through this it should be fairly close Must 
tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging, not only green. Tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. For every year, this Christmas tree. Brings to us such joy and glee. Oh, Christmas Hello. tree. Oh, Christmas yeah. tree. Such digging in the ground. Do you bring me? It's kind of neat. Great. Should be pretty close, right? Oh, Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, Christmas really close. tree. You'll ever be unchanging. A symbol of goodwill and love. You'll ever be unchanging. Each shining light. Basically, to wait for the animation to complete. There, and then you can do it. There it is. Then we got this to use. You can see that if you buy those freaks and stuff, it goes much quicker. Oops. Wrong button. Try again. Here we go. There's 400.
puts it at level two. Next level is 1,150. I'm gonna take a bit. All good. Got nothing but time with this one. All right, gonna be good. a little bit better. A little more weak. Thanks again for uh, joining me for uh, another dime novel here on uh, the PRC server. Hope you guys are having a good time and uh, I hope you uh, are having a good holiday season as we uh, wrap up this year and uh, get into the new one.
reindeer can't, well, sort of, the equivalent. And apparently in the street, too. Alright. We, we have something to do here. Oh yeah. We need to pop in. Check the general store. And then, uh, head down to, uh, the tavern, cause, yeah, we need to eat. A nice hot stew, which... Probably hit the spot. There. around in the ice water a little bit and watch the... They do seem confused up there. Or at home. I can't really tell. Either way. So they're usually pretty hard to come by. Huh. The giant vultures everywhere. Or I'm just seeing it. I don't know. You may just be seeing. Residuals of the bear attack. Perfect. Well, not quite as perfect as I thought. Go we'll grab some money. Boop. Alright. 
Connection complete. We're good. Nope. Those seems to be okay. Nope. We are uh, talking and doing our thing. Good lord. Hard as hell to see. How's it going? Whoa. Hmm. Try this again. No. No look. Damn. Let me need to take a nap. God damn it. dog obviously <laughs> somehow somehow not to uh, not what I'm going for uh, where is there we go yeah mumble reconnected this time but uh, I don't know I really don't know why this happens sometimes yeah, it must have. But it still should reconnect. That's that's the thing. So I'm not sure. It said it was connected. It was running like it was connected. I've got. <laughs> hmm. Yeah.
Yeah. Definitely. Well, being able to hear the dog means that the game audio is there. It's just for whatever reason, it's not coming through right. And we'll try to restart. Which is a bummer because I was hoping to uh, speak with them. Plus, the. She was killing it with that horse. It was impressive as hell. Those are hard turns. Twisted speed. See the railroad track here. All right, Robert. Hiding in the laundry, apparently. God damn it. This better work. gone but that's part of the reason that I was um coming here was because I was gonna switch to the horse. Oh nope. cart's here it's probably not my cart but we'll see you right now. Oh, no. Hmm, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is actually probably a good idea is to do the cycling. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I've definitely been running into, uh, running into that from time to time and it is what it is. 
Put it back on. There you go. Okay. He finds a book out here. Didn't really expect any. And figured he might as well take advantage of the uh, relatively calm weather. And sunlight. While we uh, still can. Over today has been uh, not bad. We need to swing by. Yeah, we do need to swing by the uh, 
bait shop for Sunday. I've been, uh, well, when I ran over, <laughs> when I pre getting mauled by the bear, uh, it actually swung by over there, and uh, we've got pretty much all, at least a couple of all of the lures now. And I think, um, I think next Sunday we'll probably do the. Uh, it's down there, right? So we'll do the, um, maybe go back out to uh, Lake Elizabeth. It was a really cool location. grizzly bear of it. That was nice enough to give me a big old Christmas hug. They've got actually a couple of these. Two.
way. Okay, well, not too bad. Pretty good time. Let's see if the uh, see if the voice is cleared up. fear is that it was gonna basically be uh, <clears throat> stuck and I ran into an eternally spawning situation with the, the carts earlier today so all right I'm gonna do this here real quick Chat. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you there was, uh, someone spat on the right link and I slipped. Uh, Lord.
Into his mashed in center. gallery in San Denis. Pretty cool. I think I went and looked at it at one point. If that was, I don't think that was like first stream or maybe even before I was streaming. thing is we got to Ed rat has recently been removed and has been cleaned and wiped out so it is a uh, good dinner Stepping off here. Not cool. So everybody is put there. There's scenes on the Christmas tree here. people or there's no people here I'm gonna pull out this cart the wooden cart I guess we could probably take this yeah, what the hell why not more importantly I'm gonna put stuff away in here Hmm. 
Mm, special lure. Pretty much all stuff for Sunday. Five drinking water. I don't think I need any. Well, I got one. Mmm. No, I guess I got an orange, so I'm okay. Never mind. Oh, good, chat. Alright, um. We are going to work our way back east. Yeah, let's um, take the boat. No, we can't. Yeah, we can't do that. Then we get stuck. Just missed it. Hmm. I don't think I kept anything on the, uh... On the steamer. I want to take a look at the... This will look like.
Hello again. Keeping this corner safe, I hope. Seems like it. Doesn't look like any ruffians. Nicely done. Go about your business. He's definitely putting on weight. Yeah. do you need a minute i'll be right back thanks again for watching chat appreciate it
Okay. I'm back. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out. And I uh, appreciate you guys being here. As uh, we work on the <clears> HC <throat> Dime novel. Number 16. I apologize there for the, uh, the unexpected break. <clears throat> we may, uh... And we'll see how it goes. Grab something to eat. Hopefully that'll clear it up, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, we'll see how this goes. Once again, thanks for, uh, watching along as, uh, we hang out with Robert Stockton. gonna be happy. Whoop. There's quite a few horses here. I'm going to call it. I'm just not feeling up to snuff at the moment. It would probably be, just be a good idea. It has been almost four hours. So. We got a good interview in. And uh, ran into somebody. But yeah. Probably best to do this. Get a little bit of rest. We'll sit down and read the paper. And, uh, call it a night. Thanks again, everybody, for joining me for, uh, HC Dime Novels. This was, uh, number 16. The Watchman. Appreciate you guys all hanging on out and, uh, watching the VODs as well. And, uh... Happy holidays, and we'll see you guys again real soon for uh, HC Dime Novel number 17. Probably on Friday is what I'm guessing, because uh, tomorrow I've got the uh, Trek Radio official. We'll be doing uh, Ask or Near. Tune on in and uh, see what's going on over there. In the meantime, have a great day. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>